Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a flip through of the December 2017 Just Cross Stitch issue. I got this in the mail just yesterday and it has been a rough two weeks for me and my family. My grandfather is in the hospital and it's pretty serious. I'll explain more of that in my weekly update video, which I hope to do tomorrow, but it has just been such a hard time and I've been up all hours of the day and night, working late, trying to go to the hospital. Um, I feel like I haven't done a video in forever. It's only been since Monday, but I was recording every day. So I have a slew of videos I wanna get done. It's just trying to find that time because I am so tired and run down from everything going on that it, I literally am getting up an hour before my job starts in the morning and it really is all I can do to get up, get dressed, and get through the workday. So, okay, enough about that. Let's flip through this bad boy because I haven't even looked at it. I said I wanna have my live reaction to this magazine with you guys. So this is the cover. Obviously this design will be inside the magazine. And you can see I'm also filming in a different spot. This is still my dining room, but I am just facing a different way. And I thought well, you guys might like to see the mermaids behind me that I've done that you never get to see. Okay. Oh my God, wait, is, oh, wait till you see one of these designs. Okay. They always have a favorite finds where they find products for stitchers. And they found this product pouch. See that? By Yazzy? I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. But yeah, let me tell you. Pam and Steph. I went and bought one of those uh, whip binder things from So Much To Love. A little bit of a splurge, because it was like 40 bucks, but well worth it, I think. I can't wait to get that. But anyway, I digress. Okay, the first design is called Garnet and Gold Greetings by Liz Almond. And this is actually considered, I guess, black work. This is really pretty. I really like that. And it looks like it may go quickly because you're not doing cross stitches per se, you know, you're doing back stitch for some of it, but yeah, it also looks tedious, <laughs> doesn't it? Oh, this is a nice little design. It's called Thankful Thoughts, and it is by Anna Lee Wait of Anna Lee Wait Designs. I hope that's how you say that. It's spelled W-A-I-T-E. I like that. I'm always lamenting, I guess, that there aren't enough Thanksgiving designs. I actually really like that. And the little buttons look cute too. Okay, the next design is the one I was like, OMG, wait till you see it. Oh, I thought it was a fox. <laughs> it's not, it's a corgi. Is that how you say that, corgi? Corgi Christmas Caroler. I think a lot of you are probably gonna like that. Now, you can see how I thought that was a fox when I first glanced you know, at the table of contents. That is really cute though. Yeah, really like that. So I'm sure a lot of you will probably like to be stitching that. And that is by, okay, the original artwork was by Syra Cancel, and the cross stitch adaptation was by Elizabeth Spurlock. Ooh, that's a big pattern. Okay, the next one is called Autumn Wood Sampler by DMC. It was Lois Winston designed it for DMC. That would be a pretty good autumn design, all in one color. You could use your favorite hand dyed. One of my favorite hand dyeds um, that is actually this color is Color and Cotton's Georgia Clay. I also like Weeks Dye Works Chris's Bon Bon. That is a beautiful brown. Yeah. Just to give you some ideas. Okay. The next one is the cover design. It's called Fence Friends. And the original artwork was by Maureen McCarthy. And it was licensed from Porterfield's Fine Arts 
and the cross stitch adaptation was by Elizabeth Spurlock. Elizabeth, you're a busy woman. <laughs> yeah, I like that. My stepmother loves cardinals. Won't be stitching this though, however. No, it's not really my style. Oh! Okay, this one I may be stitching. And I have to find a way, I'll just have to cover it. It's called Fall Fox, and it's by Hand Blessings Patterns. I'll just show the top, because the pattern's down there. Isn't that cute? He's cute. He's got an owl on his tail. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. And it's all, okay, DMC, but it uses two DMC color variations. I actually really love those DMC color variations. It uses Chilean Sunset, which is the color of the leaves, if you can see that. And then the other one, which is the border, is Desert Canyon. Okay, and there's a little thing that says, from the designer, I wonder what the wise old owl is telling our young fox. I think it is to enjoy the fall. It is a special time of the year. Whatever the conversation, this pair is sure to fill your home with delightful autumn and Thanksgiving charm. Really cute. And it's only 72 by 72. That would be an, a good canvas finish. You know, my little finishing. Okay. How do you do that? Okay, the next one is called Holiday Home, and it's by Cherry Parker. He had a cool name, Cherry. What I said, how do you do that, is how do you do that? Because this looks 3D. Let me see. How do you do that? Okay, yeah, you're, ooh. You're making that. You're making that wreath. You need two squares of red felt, an assortment of red, green, and gold beads, ribbon, how do you, fiber fill, wow. Yeah, so that's some work, but that looks really cool, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that ambitious for that. Okay, there is actually a Festival of Lights pattern for Hanukkah by Pickle Barrel Designs. For all you Jewish folks out there, I know there are not a lot of designs for you guys, so... This one's pretty nice. I know my friend Sandy, she's Jewish, and she always says magazines don't have enough designs like that. The next one is called Book of Joy. You actually make it, it can be a journal cover. They give you uh, the directions how to do that. It is by Natalia Luneva. There's that. Mm -hmm. The next one, which is actually really cute. Oh my God. It is called Flying Santa of Franny. F-R-O-N-Y. Franny Ritter Designs. Now this says the skill level is advanced. How do they determine that? Here's the design. Isn't that so cute? I really like that. Look at them flying. Okay, so why would it be advanced? First of all, it uses Picture This Plus Crystal Aerial. It uses Rainbow Gallery Whisper, probably for the Santa hat and his, around his suit. It uses Krynix Seed Beads, maybe that's why. I like that, that was a cute little design. I just find myself go to getting away from the big stuff though. You know, I, ju I just, I need, want more finishes. The next one is called Elf Drop Ornament by Stitchy Fish Designs and the pattern's on the other side, so I'm gonna, this is it. That's cute. I like that finishing technique. And they give you instructions on how to do it and the template. Oh, there's a bunch of ornaments. Okay, the next one is called Christmas Candle Ornament by Leslie Tear. We all know who that is. I'm just trying to hold up because the pattern's below it. That's very colorful. I like that. A lot of backstitch, though. <laughs> the next one on the other side is called Heartful by Conetta Hurlstone. 
There's that, because the pattern's right next to it, so I'm not going to show that. The next one is Mrs. Snowman by Lois Winston. I like that border. See, I'm, I'm torn with borders. I like the way they look, but stitching them, oh, good Googa Mooga. Yeah, that one doesn't look too hard though. And then on the other side is another ornament by Leslie Tear. Leslie, you're a busy woman also. Christmas goose ornament. This one's cute. I like that one. Yeah, cute. And then the next pattern is called Woodland Fantasy by Liz Almond of Blackwork Journey. How do you people find the time to do all of this? That's very detailed, look at that. That kind of reminds me of the Rosewood Manor, the tree one. What is that called? I'll be typing it when I edit this. That's gonna bug me. I can see it because Brian of Blitz Stitch and Stephanie of Lindy Stitches, Stephanie finished hers and Brian's really close to finishing his. But yeah, this reminds me of that. I'm still trying to think of what that is. Okay, the next design is called Moravian Star by Kimberly Tyree of KST Designs. It says she used 10 shades of blue and one gray green to create the 3D illusion in this beautiful Moravian star. The first Moravian star created by a schoolboy as a geometry project in 1820 included 110 points. Hey, nowadays the stars have about 25 points and are used primarily as Christmas decorations, although sculptures and lighting fixtures have incorporated the design. So 10 shades of blue. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty big. It's 111 by 112. Okay, all year this year, uh, Just Cross Stitch has done a series of block. They call it double-sided fun. And this one, Merry and Thankful. I like the Thankful one. I like that big pumpkin. I, I don't know if I'll stitch any of these, but uh, they have a picture of the other ones. I'll show you the picture so you can see them all. Okay, here, here's the picture. They had winter, some of those I can't see, winter, love, lucky, hunt, spring, summer, freedom, sunflower, spooky, autumn. So they actually have quite a bit. I mean, look at all those. But yeah, they had two in each issue. So if you like that kind of stuff, you know. Okay, the next design is Scandinavian Christmas towels. These are actually really cute, and they're not that big. And they don't take a lot of colors. I like those. I really like this one and this one. I like that one up there. Yeah, those are cute. Actually, quite a bit of designs in this magazine this time. Christmas at the Cabin is by Sharon Pope for DMC. Okay, this stitch a cozy afghan. Well, is it all of those designs? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so all of these designs you see on the afghan are included behind this, the patterns for them. For me, I would be afraid of using an afghan like, like this, like actually putting it on my bed and using it. Like my quilt, no, I'm not using that. Are you kidding? Knowing me, I'd spill coffee on it, food, I'd be getting it, and then I'd just want to die. Celebration of Needlework, May 2nd through the 6th, 2018. I would love to go to that, but that is the same time as the Salty Yarns Retreat that I go to in Ocean City every May. But yeah, Abby goes to that. So I think we're almost at the end. Woodland Sampler Part 3. So in the previous three magazines, this must have been in there. 
designed by Carol Emmerth. Pretty. Not my taste, but I can appreciate its beauty. And that was it. That was the last design. Um, they actually have a feature in the back now, how to cross stitch. That's pretty cool. What do they say? Yeah. Okay, and they, it's so funny. They give a bonus tip. If instructions say to stitch over two threads on 28 count fabric, the project will be the same size if you stitch it over one thread on 14 count. Yeah. But let's see, let's see what else they have. Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery is now advertising in their marketplace. I don't know how long they've done that. Love their patterns. Okay, guys. That and, and they, of course, in the back, which is nice, they give you all of the designs so you can just look and see the page number. So, okay. That's it for me today, guys. I hope to have some more videos coming up especially my weekly update, so you can see what I've been working on, what I've bought, what I've received. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.